Alright, I think we're live. Uh, as long as I can start hearing people and stuff, I'm sure it'll be well and good. I just pop out the chat. Alright. So, when it comes to this game, I finished off the, the main stuff. Oh, wait, gotta click on, uh, gotta click on the thingy. There we are. Alright, so, as I finished last time, I finished the main game and everything, but there are a few things I said I would get back to and haven't yet. Uh, the arena is one of those, but that'll be the last thing I tackle. Uh, there are the ability challenges. I'm not sure if Shade changed these up at all. I think, uh... I think, if anything, the times are shortened in a way which you could complete them. In fact, I don't even think Platinums are possible anymore just for the fact that the enemies take more health to die. Um, and yes, yes, that is the other one that I'm going to be doing, Mini Boss Tower on Hard. Notice my live count. I went through 1-1 one, one multiple times to uh, get my lives up in preparation for that. Will it be enough? Yeah, well, we'll see. Just gotta wait for all these to uncover first. Alright, so let's start with the level 1 sword. I'm not sure what kind of time they are, but I guess we'll find out. Two minutes and 30 seconds, that doesn't seem so bad. I already messed up on that, but whatever, no biggie. Yeah, I'm not sure if anything was changed, and uh, yeah, I haven't practiced up on this at all, so if I fail, well, you'll know why. Oh, right. Also, invincibility frames aren't, uh, well that one was invincibility frame, but I'm pretty sure most of them I can't really pull off anymore. Alright, so it doesn't seem like the time has really been introduced at all. Looks pretty much the same time as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I don't think any really much has changed, so that's not very exciting, I don't think. Well, except the damage that the enemies do, I guess. But, yeah. Maybe I'll just do these on my own time if not really too much has changed. Doesn't seem like too much really has, so... Probably will end up doing this in my own time, because... Yeah. I'll get to that. Yeah, I don't think anything has changed. At all. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be done with that. I'll, I'll do this on my own time. It's not really worth watching. It it's exactly the same as it was in Return to Dreamland. Alright. Alright, well I guess that means next we're going to be going over to World 5-5 soon. So, yeah. Alright, well, time for pain, then. Uh, 
Alright, first up is Water Galbaros. Which is a bit more annoying considering how uh, little space you have, but nothing like the next boss, which really was just painful. Yeah, I got you down to a science at least. Thanks for supporting me, Benjamin! Oh, I was, uh, I was looking at the stream chat, I just ran into the spikes. That's definitely not uh, helpful by any stretch. That's fine. Huh. <sighs> Those stupid spikes at the top would make this extraordinarily difficult. Well, and the fact that your range reaches literally everywhere. Yeah, between King Doo's range and everything else and the spikes at the top, this is just extremely frustrating. Man. Dubior at least has a wide expanse of an area and no spikes at the top, so there's that. Right, I keep... I thought you were going to be rushing after that real quick.
Rather, I thought you were going to be using your little eye laser thing. Alright. Your, your eye laser is after you rush. Okay. And they're going to jump again. Yep. And then this time, you're just going to do that normally. You're going to rush. Then you're going to do your little eye shoot thing. Ah. The fact you have to do be right afterwards is the main problem. Extra mode is not finished. The fact you have to fight Dubia right after this and you have such small space to fight King Du is super annoying. I thought you were already in your second phase by now. Oh, now you are. <laughs> I forgot you had that little time beam attack.
mistake as soon as I did it. I wonder if uh, 40, 40, 40, 42 lives was enough. Alright, got Kane Dew down to a science now. I see the attack too. I keep on thinking, no, I, now now's a good time to jump, and it never is. That's an attack you can do. There should be a download link for the Discord where you can download it from underneath. And uh, there, of course there's no charge for it. Now I'm forgetting the basic of attacks. I was I was getting prepared for your phase two attacks, and it's like, oh no, this is still phase one, and now I'm messing myself up. I was gonna let myself die.
I messed that up near the end. Oh, that, that hits you from underneath there, too. Good to know. Dang. Alright. I feel like I'm getting to a point now where I easily feel like I could do this now. I, I got pretty much can do down and I could got I got new do I know Dubior for the most part here. King Do is still annoying because everything that requires like precision to execute properly. Oh shoot! Finally! It'd be nice if I didn't run right into them. Finally! Alright, what have we got for the last door here? Alright!
This honestly seems less ferocious than uh, the two at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, as long as I'm careful, honestly, this this seems easier to deal with than whatever King Do was for the longest time. Oh my goodness, like in my first playthrough of this game, King Do was an absolute bane of my existence. Now this still looks hard, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, like as long as I don't get so close to them, there shouldn't be too much of an issue. Off to a great start already. Dang. Yeah, this 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 run didn't go so hot. Okay, it was in that hitbox.
Double kill! Alright, what do we got this time? Bunkers and Mondo. At least it's not super bunkers and Mond Mondo. Yeah, when you compare how many times that duo took, then say, oh, I don't know, King Du and Dubior, yeah, it's a pretty huge difference. Dang it. I keep waiting too long. Where am I? There I am. I'm trying to get Mound out of the way here. Mound is only annoying against with bonkers just for that invincibility frame that it's got that kind of prevents you from hitting hit, hit or bonkers.
Yeah, trapping in those invincibility frames with a uh, with a uh, Moundo is definitely definitely not a good combo. My goodness! Get that crap out of there. Uh, I missed it, but I don't care. Whew. Oh my goodness. Yay! I did it! So I went down from 44 lives to 28, and we'll just say 24. We'll say I lost 20 lives there because I gained 4 lives at the end of the thing. Whew, that, that was something. <laughs> Man, but I did it! I did it. So, yeah. Hardest part was definitely the point between... Uh, I can't even think right now. The hardest part was definitely King Dude to Dubior. Once you got the Dubior, it was like no problem. Dubior was easy to maneuver. As long as you got in one of those gaps, 
there's no way Doobie Rowe could ever ram into you by accident with this little swam attack, because it can't go from one side to the other. So it's pretty much a safe zone there. King Do! <laughs> the, the safe zone, it's like, not even... Those spikes at the top, and it's long-range attack of its whip. But, it's all good. Finally did it. And then the two one the two after that, uh, King, uh, uh, Sir Kibble, or Giant Sir Kibble, Kibble Blade, there we go, and, uh, the and, uh, the other sword guy. That wasn't too bad once I figured it out. Bonkers and Mountain Dew, they both have the invincibility frames where, like, when, uh, when Mound, of course, is spinning around, and also when Bonkers are spinning around, they could deflect stars. In which case, if you, hit, you can't hit the one behind it, even with the double star. Which made that really annoying, and they could also trap you so hard with their fire, their slamming, their shock waves, everything. But... <sighs> All right, well, I guess that just leaves one thing. <sighs> the arena. Do I want to start this? I didn't practice up on the bosses at all, and... No, 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 my biggest fear, my biggest fear in all of this, there's not the bosses, it's the inevitable fights with the Sphere Doomers again. Having to fight to a two duo with the Sphere Doomers and fight one afterwards, that's, that's my fear. Those horrible, painful Sphere Doomers. Let me just scream real quick. Alright, I'm good. You know what? One good crash sounds sounds good as well. Okay. Don't, don't even with the sphere dual fire tumors. Is your HP reduced at all?
I don't like you doing that for. That's encouraging. Dying on the first round. I told myself I was just going to do the ability rooms and that uh, hard mode of uh, the thing this time. Because I thought the ability challenge would at least be changed up a little bit. Maybe with speed or whatever. But... No. Alright, starting off with Wispy. Nice and traditional. Alright, the blast radius of those things is ridiculous. I told myself I was going to practice up with the bosses before even tackling this, which is why I wasn't planning to even do this today. But, uh, whatever. Oh, they, slip, they don't actually home in it. You just go in one direction for the first phase. Okay. Alright, so I see what happens. Like, where I'm standing is where those air puffs are going to go for the first phase. Like I said, I haven't practiced up with the bosses at all. So, I'm pretty much having to learn these things all over again. <laughs> Oh boy, starting off with uh, Grand Doomer. Alright. I'm gonna have to probably definitely come back to the center and actually practice up on the bosses before I do this. Because I'm essentially have to, I'm gonna essentially have to learn these bosses all over again. Considering I haven't played this game for weeks. Oh, so I was trying to look at the chat while I was waiting for him to go uh, do his little animation thing, but I guess that didn't work.
I at least want to beat one boss just to see before I just go and do uh, try this again some other time. I just want to see. I just want to know how the rest area looks and if the if there are still a whole bunch of maxing tomatoes there, which I'll inevitably going to need. Oh right, I have to do the I have to do the little timing jump thing with that attack. I will say this, I kind of miss the, uh, I kind of miss the in orderness of the, of, uh, of Soulmother EX in this regard. I could just stand in the corner for that too.
I beat Metal General. <laughs> Alright, let's see how the stress area looks. Alright, at least there are still five maximum tomatoes there, so once I properly learn the bosses for right next time, then I could go ahead and uh, not worry too much. At least at least this was kept the same. I'm just gonna relax for a bit, and out of completionist sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get the 100% on this, just by doing the ability challenges, and I'll do the... I'm gonna practice up off-screen and get used to some of the bosses again, and uh... Yeah, because as it stands, there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to do that arena today, and uh, without embarrassing myself... No, th that's not true. Without embarrassing myself more, so... There we go. That's that sounds definitely more accurate to the whole thing. Not trying to go for platinums because I already have uh a whole thing on my channel of all Platinums in EX mode anyways, and apparently these haven't been changed up whatsoever. And I don't think Platinums are possible just because of the tricks you have to do to get Platinum aren't possible with some of the boss, some of the enemies that take more damage. So, that's a thing. One thing's for sure, considering the difficulty of even the regular arena in this game, you better believe I'm going to take the my completion video of the arena and definitely post that by itself on my channel. <laughs> because, yeah, that is something that people are going to watch without having to watch me on stream too, considering even the regular arena is ridiculous. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Well, if people want to ask me questions as I'm just blowing through these to get 100% on the file just cuz, feel free and ask. Like I said, I'm not trying to go for great, I'm just trying to go for completion. I already got a platinum on all of these before, so... I don't really care too much, honestly. I would honestly say Dread is probably my favorite 2D Metroid game. Uh, it ha its quality of life improvements over Super Metroid kind of give it a hand there. Super Metroid is a great atmospheric game, don't get me wrong, but and it's probably one of the best 2D Metroid games out there. And the exploration is phenomenal, but not being able to tell what items, what rooms you've collected items in and which ones you haven't. Uh, which doors, which rooms have doors, which ones don't. There have been times where I've gotten lost simply because I didn't know there was a door in the sections I've missed because everyone on the map was already just like a regular section of the map, but I'm like, where am I missing a door? There has to be a door here somewhere, right? Oh, it was in this hallway that I didn't explore yet, which I didn't even know there was a door in. So I'd say for quality of life improvements alone and just because of how great of a game and this difficulty, I would say Dress Prime my favorite 2D Metroid game. In terms of uh, games as a whole, or I would say, I don't know, it's been a while since I played the Prime Trilogy, but I would say Metroid Prime is still probably my fa favorite Metroid game, but only because I haven't played Metroid Prime for a while, and the only thing that's really stopping me from playing it again right now is the constant rumors of a Metroid Prime Trilogy coming out. And uh, right now, the rumors changed, saying, oh, now it's just going to be the regular Prime that's going to be remade. I don't know, considering I've heard Metroid Prime Trilogy rumors since... Probably since the original Metroid Prime 4 was announced, then I'm not holding too much merit that any of those are true. They may be, because a lot of insiders are claiming it, and the insiders have been right about a lot of other stuff, such as, well, Dread, for one. But, yeah. If you never played a Metroid game before, I would honestly say start with Zero Mission. If you can play, if, if you have a Wii U and you can play Zero Mission, play that first. It is easily the best introduction to Metroid for a first timer who's just going in there who doesn't know anything. It's it's not really well. I guess kind of it is straightforward, but it's not at the same time. The bosses are relatively easy, and. At the same time, if you're an expert at the game, getting 100% in that game is tough. Some of those Shine Spark puzzles are ridiculous. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Starting with Dread is a great place to start too, because you get a nice little catch up, the stuff you need to know for Dread. But if you've never played Metroid games in terms of the controls, knowing to blow up things in the environments, and just all around difficulty, Dread is quite a way to get yourself into it. <laughs> I wouldn't say rumors are ever just made up things. I mean, there are some people, honestly, that do just make up garbage. Like that one guy, for example, who claimed that Sega was working on uh, Sonic Mania 2 and scrapped it. I forget who that guy is, but he's like notorious for never being right on anything. But at the same time, there are some other insiders who have been a pretty good spot record. They're not perfect, because insiders can only give information of insiders. Insiders can only know one side of the story, they might not know the full story, so therefore they won't get the full story. They'd be like, oh, this person's asking about this, this person's working on this. But it could also be a test for something else they plan to implement in another game, so... Who knows, that, that's, that's another story. But I would never say that insiders are ever just making stuff up, except for those that have proved time and time again, they most definitely are. Yeah, my Wii U is honestly just used for playing Wii games, and I guess eventually I need to play uh, Wind Waker HD. I did get Wind Waker HD for free after my after the whole promotion when you got a Wii U. If you had a Wii U and registered and bought Mario Kart 8 at a certain date, you would get another one of the selection games to download for free, and I chose Wind Waker HD because I loved Wind Waker. Haven't played it since I originally played it. Right now, Met Wind Waker stands to my favorite Zelda game, but that could just be complete nostalgia. Although, nostalgia for me is kind of weird because I actually grew up with the NES, but anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to do the rainbow, but it's... I forget how to... Wait, have to... That's right, I have to hold down and then do that.
Oh my goodness. It's kind of hard to say what I want to see for the future of Kirby after Forgotten Land because uh, I really want to see how Forgotten Land does and executes what it does first. I mean, now I've been waiting for a 3D Kirby game for a while, most of you guys have known that. At the same time, I don't know what the quality of this one's going to be like yet. No one does. Everyone could just, pretty, everyone's just kind of guessing at this point. No one really knows for sure. So. I can't really say how I'd really want to see for the future of Kirby without quite seeing what their current plans are. I have played Mega Man. It's not for me. It's not. I don't know. It's. I, I can see why people like it, but it's just one of those things I've never really gotten into. Same with Phoenix Wright. I played a. Uh, I've played it, and I can see why people like linguists and stuff would like the game. It's kind of fun in its own right, and the characters are nice and has a really good story. Just not a fan. When it comes to Mega Man, there's nice action, 2D kind of stuff like that, but still. What? Oh yeah, I forgot how much it whatever. Get it. You mean like Dim Sonic games? <laughs> I forgot those things have uh, pretty much like super armor, I think is what that's called. <laughs> Fun fact, um, I was thinking about getting a uh, Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> 
once uh, once the Steam sale comes out, if I could get it for like fifteen dollars or less, just for the fact, it's like I played some garbage. And <laughs> I don't know. Like I can't imagine that game being much worse than say uh, Bubsy 3D. <laughs> But at the same time, it looks like absolute trash, and I have to know just how bad the game is. In case you don't know, I have a knack for buying some absolute garbage stuff and trying to finish it. Uh, if, if I can't finish a bad game, the game is just that bad. Case in point, Superman 64. I, I couldn't, I could not finish that. <laughs> like, that was just... terrible. I think if it wasn't for the invisible uh, floors you could just fall into randomly without co without any real notice, I think that's what really did it in for me. Like I could have gotten past the rain garbage, but here I am trying to explain why I don't finish Superman 64, as if that's the normal thing people do. <laughs> But yeah, let's see. I've beaten uh, Sonic Boom, Sonic 06, I've beaten Bubsy 3D. Well, technically I had to use cheats for Bubsy 3D, because trying to beat that without cheats with the last three levels just seemed absolutely not worth it whatsoever. I feel like I should also give uh, Hotel Mario a try too at some point. Although, to be fair, Hotel Mario doesn't look like a necessarily bad game, just absolutely terrible cutscenes. And it's like, that's the thing, like, the gameplay itself looks like just like one of those standard arcade style, uh, closet room things like that. And th that's like a playstyle that exists at a certain point. It just looks like one of those, so... I would play Big Rigs just for the fact. If not, the only problem is Big Rigs isn't really uh, a. I, I wouldn't really call that a true game at that point. I mean, it, there's you can't really finish Big Rigs. Like it, it's it pretty much you already finish itself. I will say, all these ability items is one of the things I did not, I really missed from Star Allies. Like, it didn't have any of these things. Real Planet Robot had a good amount of them too, with like the little robot you could control, the dual lightsaber that goes across the screen. Like a whole bunch of different stuff like that, but...
Yay! There it is. There's that screen. Alright, so next time, I'll definitely be trying out the arena, but I need to practice up on the bosses in the main mode first before I do that. Just because, clearly as it stands right now, I have not a single shot at that. <laughs>